Hey, welcome back guys now let me show you how you can use this template so once you download the project file it will be in a zip format you will have to extract it and after you extract it you will get this folder with the .dra extension now you have to open up a davinci resolve and in the project manager window right click in the empty space and click on restore project archive and then you just have to find this folder wherever it is extracted so I'm going to find that folder and you should see your project file with the .dra extension. Just click that and click on open. And just uh, give it some seconds and you should see the project load up. Double click on it to open it up. All right, so now you should see something like this. If you are not on the edit page, just simply click in the bottom that says edit. And just go to the edit page and you should see different version over here version 1 2 and it should be a version 3 let me just drag that over here if it's not already there and you will have logo and the text placeholder so what you have to do is first of all you just go to version 1 which is the logo only version and you just go to logo only combo here and just enable this video track this is the window where you have to place your logo in here so just just choose your logo that you want to use and make sure that your logo has just monochromatic colors so for example this logo will work absolutely fine because it just has single color in it and you should have a logo with either white black or any solid color like so and uh, here's an example of a logo that will not work uh, you can see the nasa logo it has a lot of colors and uh, this is not uh, the ideal logo for this project so I'll, I'll just import both of these and let me show you what the result will look like so here is my um logo over here let me just start with the nasa version let's put it at the top and you can see the scale is too big or the size is too big so we'll go to inspector i'm going to scale it down using the zoom controller and we'll fit it within this window over here the white window and make sure you disable this video track all right you can see the track itself also says disable after edit so once you finish editing just disable this and and in the version one if you go back you can see your logo over here so if you move forward you can see logo looks horrible you cannot see the logo uh, so that's the reason why we are not avoiding using such logos so if i just use another logo such as this spotify logo and uh, let me just edit this like so i'm going to disable this track and now if i go back uh, you can see the logo animation over here i'm going to set the quality back to full so there you have it All right so that's how easy it is to add your logo now in the uh, text only comp this is where you just um <clears throat> change or edit your text make sure you have open sans font installed if it's not then you can just um, just switch to any other font and it should work absolutely fine so let me just use this font and i'll just type in hello and if i go back to version 2 you will see the changes updated over here all right looks pretty cool and the third one is using the text and the logo so you can see our first track is text you can change that to anything that you want so let's just change this to spotify and then we'll just drag in the spotify logo and we have to enable the window track at the bottom just scale down the size of your logo and now we just want to adjust the logo position so just move it to the top like so and change it like this and you can also change the text height and um, all that stuff so let me just reduce the size and i can make it 
I can change the font as well and you know adjust the tracking and all that stuff and once I'm done editing I can disable this window track let's go to version 3 and you will see your logo and the text over here so that is pretty much it that's how you can edit this template now if you want to render out this animation you just uh, go to any of these versions that you want to use go there and then go to the deliver tab and click on it and just save it wherever you want to save it and use maybe 1080p youtube preset or you can just use h.264 and i'll just also like to change this to mp4 and click on add to render queue and then render out your animation and you can use it in your projects so that is pretty much it that's how you can um, edit this template i hope this will help you in your upcoming projects or videos yeah so thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next one